Hello friends. In the last video, we are discuss about food. Where does it come from? In that session, we have discussed some points as a variety of the food, food material, and its a resources. Now we are going to discuss the next point: plant parts and animal products as a food. We know that plants are the food source of your daily routine diet. So many of the its a parts we are using as a food. It's a stem. It's a leaves. It's a flowers. It's a fruits. We are using as a food. If we are going to observe that the mustard plant, then it's a stem and it's a leaves and it's a seeds. In that, we are using the seeds as a edible oil. And it's a leaves we are using for making a vegetable. So in that plant, we are using the two parts of a plant. In other plants, we are using the different variety of the parts of the plant. Like here, I am drawing one chart. In that, I mentioned a one our favorite vegetable. Brinjal curry. So that in the brinjal curry, which ingredients we are using? That I am mentioning here. Suppose that we are using chili. Then chili is we are getting from the plant. It is a fruit of that plant. Then the oil from groundnut, soya bean, mustard. Or any type of the oil from any plant, it getting from the seed of the plant, and we know that brinjal is a fruit of a, that plant. Here I am drawing one figure which shows a total plant parts. We know that in the last lesson we are discussed. That we are getting a food from the plant. So which part we are using? We are also using a root as a food. We are using it as a shoot system as a food. Root system means which part of the plant below the ground in the soil. This is called as a root system. Main part of the root is called as the primary root, and its the sub roots are called as the secondary root. Now we are going to consider the part which we are looking on the ground. Which part we are looking on the ground? This is called as the shoot system. This is a totally shoot system of the plant. In that, here flowers are coming, fruits are there. It's a stem, it's a leaf, it's a node, and internode and bud. I'm showing here. Bud means the sprout which is coming to the stem. This is called as a bud. And node means where the branch or leaves are attached to the stem is called a node. This is a node. Here the new branch or maybe the leaves attached to the stem. So that's why here node. Here is another one node. And this section, that part between two nodes. Here one node is there. Here another one node is there. Part between two nodes is called as the internode. So like that we are using a shoot and root of the plant. We do one activity. Take a chana or moo and soak it into the water for few hours. Afterwards, it remove and 
keep into the dry cotton clothes and tie it afterwards you keep it for a few hours or otherwise whole night and after the next day you observe that its sprouted seeds are coming so that is a white portion is there it's enriched in protein if you are trying to make it a vegetable there is a so much tasty so you try at home another one if you are looking around your house the bee hives then you observe that all the honey bees are going to collect the nectar from flower to flower so what is the nectar nectar is a sweet juice and it is getting only for few days from pollen so they are going to store into the it's a bee hive and after that they are using as a food so like that food we are also using for our routine diet about the next part like what animals are eating we are going to discuss into the next video up to that stay home stay safe